one of the things that really strikes me is that an increasing amount of the marketing process is becoming automated. You know, we talk a lot about programmatic, but actually right through to, to how we decide to purchase products. Amazon now is partnering with manufacturers of things like coffee machines to create uh, devices that can reorder their own refills. Uh, and that's crazy because if you think that if you've got a device on your kitchen counter which is reordering its own refills, what does that say for brand loyalty in the future? And we've also got personal AI assistants on our phone and what happens to the point where actually all your shopping is done by bartering between your own personal AI assistant and Amazon's AI assistant. The whole thing is going to become automated. So I think the danger of that kind of digital transformation is that the whole thing gets based on efficiency and automation and, and, and that happens then all the charm, all the character, all the story is, is and the emotion is sucked out of the relationship that, that exists between the brand and the consumer. And we know that the most successful brands have very meaningful, emotionally driven relationships with brands. So I think that that's definitely a potential con and I think it's something that companies need to be really aware of, balancing the story and the emotion with the efficiency and the automation. All clients are going through some sort of digital transformation, whether it be structural from a business or a marketing perspective. I think often though technology can act as a bit of a distraction uh, from the day-to-day -day, um, relationships that need to be built and add distance, um, which is not a good thing. They also can add an element of speed, clients feeling that they need to follow mantras like shoot, fire, aim and just get on with stuff in a rush and actually that often distracts from sort of long-term strategic thinking and a commitment to creative, powerful ideas. On the other hand, I can see some positives, obviously, but I think it's always useful when you look at technology to at least be aware of the negative impact that it can have. I am intrigued by this notion of digital transformation, um, partly because I find it somewhat of a red herring. You know, the world has always been changing. It's changed ever since I started in the business. It will change for a long while. And actually, I think we get too carried away with the focus on digital transformation. So it's a thing over here that is somehow disconnected from the business that we do day in, day out, and it isn't. You know? So I, I try and keep everybody focused on, you know, we've still got to deliver for our customers, we've still got to understand them, we have a whole raft of new ways to reach them, market to them, listen to them, and these are all interesting things, but they're shiny new things. Um, and some of them, I think, get too much distraction and prevalence, because you know, last time I checked, most TV stations around the world are doing very well. You know, the death of ITV in the UK was predicted 10 years ago. In the meantime, its stock price has gone up fivefold. You know, 10 years ago, everybody said, if you don't have a Facebook page, you'll never be able to build a business. That's not true either. I like a lot the Bill Burnback quote, the only, change, the only unchanging thing is man, and, uh, as in the human being, and the human being is just as complex as we ever were and digital transformation hasn't made our lives any more easy, possibly made them more difficult. Um, and actually, I think we need to focus more on human beings than we do on technology as we do digital transformation. What is reducing the pace of adaptation in, in marketing? Th that for me is probably the angle that uh, I feel as leader is more uh, challenging. And it's how can you create in organizations, in communities, a place where everybody feels safe to learn. And, and I think that if we reduce a bit the energy of the pros and cons of the technology in itself, we can liberate a bit of energy and, and start thinking of as leaders, how can we create mind space for people to relax a bit, to start more, being more playful, 